Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda, where today we will take you on a journey on an expedition on the planet Eos in the Helios Cluster. Yeah, so um, we dropped the Tempest right on Eos and we're gonna try and, uh, well, find out how we can make this a viable planet again. So we can live on this thing. Um, container? Oh my god, we're getting loot already. Turian calibration coil and Exogeny M spec magnets. Take all, I suppose. Looks like salvage. New. Days ago, new. Who else is here? Huh. So we might come across. This analysis provides us with important research data, Pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment, such as your weapons and armor. Which sounds amazing, but we might get those mutineers on our ass in a minute. Because that is the only thing I can think of right now that would still have access to this this facility. Because they must have been exiled somewhere. Power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. <laughs> okay then, that was that was great. Um I'm just wanna say so we need to restore power to the door. No, to the site. So let's start with that. Uh, clear atmospheric radiation. Just gonna check out this. If I'm not mistaken, I can switch weapons like that. Okay, okay, fine enough. Ooh, can scan this separately. What does it say about that? Nothing apparently. Environmental specifications exceeded. A turbine. Something's making noise. From the inside of here. Hello? No one need a scanner? Because I've got one. What the hell? Liam, stop making noises! There's a data pad here. Got a code lock key. That should help get us in. Okay, that's good. And then the terminal over here. Uh, log botany analysis from Allison May. New entry. What are you hiding, Eos? The plants exhibit sporadic hypergrowth, despite an environment that can sandblast paint. I'm starting to suspect an electromagnetic trigger. I detected a signal of some kind, definitely alien, but that's not my field. Uncertain if deliberate. Vector noted. Now let's play the audio log. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Oh, that was... that was sad. What's this? A little light over there. That's just a thermal clip, I suppose. So, ammo. Um, can't really do anything with it. And there's nothing else to scan here, weirdly enough. So, let's get back outside and open up the door, I suppose. I don't know how I should check out the other, uh, the other objectives, by the way. Uh, so, that's that menu. Oh, jeez. Inoperable, okay. Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without power. We didn't expect this kind of environment. Who could? I can actually scan the door. That door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. Okay, so how do I restore power? Infusion station. Equipment intended to assist in the study and treatment of persistent radioactive effects. This device is likely used because Scourge Fallout defies known effects. Okay then. Fluorite. Hmm. The source of low dispersion optics, flux, ceramics and enamels. Also vital for the manufacture of hydrofluoric acid. Okay, let's take that. 47 fluoride, but it's still here. Let me take the rest. Okay. Uh, is this door open? Seems like it is. Anything I can scan? No, but there's a few data pads over here. Another code, like we already found. 
Personal Log Chief Lito, Grace Lito or Lito. Specialist Kotari needs to stop navel gazing about the monoliths and whoever built them. We need that speculating mind of his. If it doesn't grow food, stop wind, or get special project Sigma done, it's not worth our time right now. His team is looking at the big structures and they'll do good work, but I tagged his runner just in case. Vehicle tracking code Grace Delta 9. Okay. Is that something we can use? Or no, there's a container here as well. Omnigel canister and a shotgun barrel. Let's take all again. That doesn't seem to uh, increase our limit, our item limit. Lithium. Thank you. Nothing else? Okay, fine. So that's the edge of the shield over there. Then I suppose we should open the door. There's another facility up there. Let's go and open that door first. I'm gonna guess the water is bad. More fluorite. Joof. I do like the movement in Mass Effect Andromeda. That chat pack is just awesome. Okay, another door I can scan. Door is not receiving power. Okay. Anything else? No. There is a container over here. Asari Comlink and Terran Rivets. More loot, I suppose, the just... The door had power, but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. The logs might... Okay, I'm sorry for cutting you off there. Message for Nick Taniopoulos. That sounds like a Greek man. People are talking here, saying that EOS isn't viable. That things aren't going like they expected. I think you should come back. I know what you're going to say. I didn't sign up for the initiative to stay trapped in a floating tin can. And I promise you can have your adventure. Later, when they've had more time to plan for your safety. Mom told me to make sure you don't get in over your head. And that's what I'm doing. At least think about it. For me. And check in more often. I've started to adopt Mom's worry. Already chewed through the nail of my pinky finger. It's up to you whether I keep the rest of my nails intact. Love you. And then Leah Wells. Hello, sorry if this is the wrong channel, but this is the one they gave me on the Nexus. I'm requesting an update because my friend hasn't checked in for some time. Leah Wells, Research and Development Department, Research Assistant 2. She hasn't responded to any of her messages and I'm worried. Please let her know to get in touch with me. And then hello. Sorry to bug you again, I requested an update on Leah Wells a few days ago now go and I haven't heard anything back. On my end it looks like the message wasn't even opened. Is everything okay there? Get back to me as soon as you can and tell the other message to message me back. Okay. So nobody answered on this facility anymore. I'm not really sure if they expected them to. Or if that's part of the problem. Oh. That is something. Power interface. Oh. Is that a power interface so I can do something? No. Apparently not. Apparently not. Uh, let's check the console then. I got a partial lock, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. Iron. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. Okay, so let's check out the containers first. Omnigel canister and small power core. And then the terminal. Play audio log. Sandstorms, radiations. What the hell was Addison thinking sending us here? Eos might have looked great back in the Milky Way, but up close. It's a hellscape. Farthingale's on my case to stay positive. Put on a brave face for the rest of the team. But I can't shake the feeling that I'm gonna die out here. Fartingale, that is an interesting name. Um, but yeah, let's continue. We're gonna have to head back out and turn the power roll. That much is clear, but we might get ambushed when we get out. 3, 2, 1. Nothing yet over here. I can't open that door. Because it's not powered, so... Let's get back outside. Anything Look at this place. changed? It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos' atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter, 
That would not be advised. So the facility the we saw Sam? earlier. It the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we can hunt that signal down. More things to scan, and then we... Ooh, there's another building over there. Jesus, this keeps going. Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry. Oh my god, buildings. I'm starting to feel rather sick about Sam's voice here. There we go. This seems to be unlockable. Huh. Guess that ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There Lancy Arquist. You thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. I'm here to help. I'm not a salvager, I'm a Pathfinder. We've come to fix all this. Call me Clancy. Pathfinder, huh? Like that changes much. The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. I'll leave the Ket to me then. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the cat. You're crazy. Though maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Hell yes. Let's get this started. So now... Okay. Expect trouble when we start the generators. Generator one. There's an error in the startup sequence. Shit. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Okay, there we go. Generator interface possible. Location marked. Oh, up there, of course. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Didn't think I could get there in one jump. Ooh, there's more fluoride down there. And that's one generator. And now we're gonna get Sam, attacked, probably. Our friend Clancy. Was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager. Cadmium. Okay then. And flew right. Thank you very much. And now we need to get to that other power pylon. And I feel like we're gonna get ambushed any second right now. Site 1 promise. Yeah, okay. Oh god. God, how the hell? Luckily, there are boxes stapled up like this. There we go. There we go. We've got company. Defeat the cat. Okay. I'm gonna get uh, up high because that might give us a, a better position here. There we go. That's two more, and let's go kill that final one. There he goes. They okay. About the cat. The power relay station is ready for activation, Pathfinder. Okay, but maybe I should get myself a bit more ammo before we uh, continue on, because I'm running low. Thank you very much. And then I would like to heal, but I don't see a, a healing station anywhere close. So uh, let's just get inside to reactivate the power relay station, apparently. Oh, I still don't... I still can't get inside of the building here, apparently. Just need to take the long way around. You took down all those cat... Hello, Clancy. Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. Oh, and you didn't take it. Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. But how does this work? You just come here to salvage stuff? Don't suppose you've got anything we can use. Oh. 
Okay, that is interesting. So he actually sells weapons. I did build a Matic, so I don't need that. Uh, sell all salvage. Ooh. Uh, confirmed, yeah? That is nice. Interesting. Because I have the Matic. Sadly made that already, but the Raptor would be nice. There we go, let's buy that. Confirm. Huh. New weapon indeed. Great. So we have merchants in here as well. Let's scan around a bit. There seems to be something over here in the corner. Outpost power controls. Activate. There we go. Oh. There goes her voice. We should have access Correct. to everything inside As one. I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. Jesus it's coming Christ. from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. Hmm. Absolutely. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right that's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. So that must be the Nomad then, because we, uh, ooh. Now the power more viability points. We can investigate the nearby buildings. Okay, so that's something we will do immediately. An assault rifle barrel, always handy. Uh, let's go... We're gonna have to go through these buildings systematically so I don't miss anything. I could actually even enter the lower area here then, I suppose. Yep, there we go. Scanning. If walls could okay, if walls could talk. But yeah, that was... Why, why did you cut off because I scanned something? Okay. Oh, what the hell? Holy shit, it works. Can you get audio? What the hell? Now. So Wilcox and Fartingale. We can't survive another attack. The storms and radiation were already killing us. Now we've got those things. We can't return to the Nexus with our tails between our legs. The whole station is counting on us. Then they're counting on corpses. Those things? Must be talking about the cat. Hmm. So they apparently are both both dead at the moment because their status is deceased interesting so that's we can get memories of some sort out of our scanner as well that's a lot more interesting than just scanning stuff because that that would have been boring otherwise and so that was one container and then the terminal another audio log wilcox thinks i'm crazy but i know what i saw eyes on the mountain watching us we're not alone out here this log was recorded a day before the first cat ambush on Site 1. The cat scouted them out. Okay, interesting. Let's go check the next building. So next up, let's open this one. Pathfinder, I have enough sensory data to reconstruct an image. Okay. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Okay then. Scan him. You step scan outside her. Recently. There's nothing golden about EOS. Not saying there won't be challenges, but we can do this, Wilcox. We have to. It's like we're listening to ghosts. And how does this... I don't really know how this works. Sensory reconstruction. That doesn't seem like something that's real. I mean... Come on. You can't just bring back memories from the dead because of some information in the environment. That's just... Crazy, but that seems to be all in here. So next up. So yeah, there was this one door over here that we couldn't open. So let's open that up now. Vanadium. Seems like a rarer mini mineral if you go by the color. Log supply situation from Fartingale. They divided the rations again. Tonight's menu soup with a couple of crackers each. Hope we're not too hungry to prop up the south building tomorrow, but there's nothing else for it. Can't forage because the weather's deadly, can't grow crops in those winds, and the Nexus can't feed us and themselves. No, 
don't think about it, there's talk going around of getting back to the Nexus. But if we can't find an answer, who can? We dare to put our boot prints here. We were first. Me and Theo promised to stick it out, even if we ended up being last. And, well, you did end up being last, because you died. Um, that's all there is in this room, apparently. They didn't, they didn't know, know what, what they were oh, in for. Okay. They weren't told. Sam and I could have helped them. This won't happen again. Hopefully. Because that would be, be pretty bad if that happened. Wait, what? I'm getting... A marker that I need to scan something, but... Oh. Let's just go over there. Oh. I can scan that. Special requisition. All-terrain scout rover. A nomad. Six-wheel drive. Jump jets. Just what you need. Ooh, cool. The but... initiative only built a few. This... I... Okay. Don't know why well, do that know? triggered something. The outpost research center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here too. Okay, this is vital to our progress, apparently. This tech is how we survive in Andromeda. Ingenuity on the ground. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source. And maybe whoever else is looking. Hmm. Interesting. So we still need to clear atmospheric radiation, but we're going to have to do that with the, the structure that we need to find. Call down a forward station. Log, new designs departure, senior foreman Adriano Fonesca. Tried out the new pin design on the shelters today. Only time will tell if they actually hold together when the next storm rolls over. At least it should be easier to find the pieces this time. Shorty's pitching for an evac back to the Nexus. Too many cats, not enough water, no hope, he says. I'd rather sell supplies and sleep on the deck than lie awake listening to the storms one more night. Can't say I disagree. Losing three of my guys to cat made me wonder about leaving too, but I asked him what I asked myself. What's back on the Nexus for pioneers? Isn't EOS what we signed on for? It has to be. So yeah, a lot of uh, disagreement on whether they should pull through and investigating these, uh, well, very hostile planets or not. More rivets and magnets, thank you very much. Can I actually scan anything here? Doesn't seem like it, but there is another terminal in the back here and a container. Let's open that up. Element zero, that used to be the most rare element in the game. So since it's red, I'm gonna suppose it still is. Activate power relay. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components. Oh, okay. We have another extra list of weapons then? Oh no, this is, wait. This is a sta the same list, isn't it? I want to build that falcon thingy, but ooh. I can actually f make that falcon thingy. That would be cool. Falcon assault rifle. Because that was a thing that made grenade launchers, right? Yeah, why not? Falcon assault rifle researched, researched successfully. Now get back and go into development. And then build the... Where is it? Where is it? I can't see it. Oh, there we go. Falcon. We need copper. 100 copper. Uh, which isn't too bad. But I think... I can actually upgrade them. So I want to develop the mattock. No, 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 no. No? Jesus Christ. Just go into... Oh, yeah. I need to research it. Weapon, but I probably won't be able to do that again. That Raptor sniper rifle seems to be interesting as well, because... Huh, let's craft that. I shouldn't want to... No, maybe... I think I bought a Raptor, right? Let's exit for now, because I'm not really sure how this all works. Uh, I should have actually researched armor and not another weapon, but... Yeah, that's pretty much it. You know what? Maybe I can actually make armor. Development. Can I make... Ooh, I can. So that's the one we're currently... 
using. Yeah, we can't make any of this. No, we don't have the supplies to do that. Fine, fine, fine. Let's go back outside and uh, check out the Nomad. Activating automated forward station deployment. Ooh, forward stations are auto deployed from orbit at appropriate sites. Oh, yeah, okay, it's already down camera. Okay. The Nomad cannot be called here. Can I check this thing out? What the hell can I do here? Looks like the forward station Ooh. supplies are intact. Loadout. Nomad crate. Loadout. Can I swap? Unequip. Let's equip. I didn't make a falcon for some reason because I couldn't make it yet. Um, but I have a raptor, yeah. Okay, so that's that confirms it. So let's get the raptor in and put a sniper rifle barrel on it. That is good, I suppose. So the charger for close quarters and the raptor from uh, afar. The armor is still good. What am I wearing? Initiative armor, okay. And then those things are good as well. And then Liam. Can I actually? Ooh. Biotic Commando. So I can swap Liam out for Vetra. I'm gonna do that immediately. Confirm. And then we went to black. And there she is. Hello, Vetra. That is cool. So now we need to unlock the Nomad container. That, that is not really efficient, is it? How does this thing work? Nope, the other one. Ooh, okay, that might help a bit. Just gonna go with the charger for now. Uh, and even just holster it, because we don't really need it at the moment. Oh, this is gonna be nice. Bam. Okay, that thing looks awesome. Can we customize this thing as well? That is cool. And now we have a full lady squad, by the way. I am liking that. So improved suspension blueprint. Oh. Let me check that research station out. Maybe we can make some adjustments to the Nomad already. Development. Yeah, there we go. So improved suspension. We need more copper. Yeah, and copper and platinum. That is interesting. So suspension. Increase the Nomad's top speed in four-wheel drive mode and v vertical thrust upgrade. Increase the force generated by vertical thrusters by 40%. Interesting. But we don't have enough supplies. Still. Okay, never mind. Can't upgrade my weapons yet. Even in research, probably nah. There we go. Fine. Let's get, uh, let's get aboard the Nomad. I want to drive this lovely thing. Okay, it's opening on the side. As normal. Oh, the Nomad should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Forward. Nomad's life support systems can protect you from hazards longer than your combat armor, but not for an unlimited time. The Nomad will begin to take damage once life support is depleted. So that's uh, probably the health meter on the right. Toggle mining computer. Oh, we can forage for supplies as well, which is interesting. Investigate the strange signal. Oh, yes. Here we go. Let's not waste any time. I can't get traction. It's too steep. Switch to six wheel drives. It'll get you up there in a snap. Okay. Oh. So we have six-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. What the hell is that? Remember the Nomad's jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more... Got it. Signal's coming from that structure up ahead. And there are shields in here as well, which is good. So safe condition. I do like this thing. Press circle to exit, okay. So this indeed looks pretty similar to what we've seen before. Just gonna get my health back. Apparently I do already have my health back. 
Um, I'm picking we... up initiative tech nearby from above us. There, look, up near that scaffolding. Jesus Christ, where the hell is this going? So, the terminal in the middle is linked to these things up here, because the wiring's going up. So that's probably the console I need to uh, activate. And that's about it. So let's uh, activate this uh, console over here. Because I'm in awe for a second. So let's activate this. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And oh, hopefully start okay. up whatever helps the atmosphere. I know I have unused skill points, but... Analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. This thing moves up there, so we kind of already know that. Search for a glyph to scan. Oh, we might need to climb up there. That might be a solution. Um, if I can even get up... Okay, never mind, I can't get up there. It's slippery, but there's a great view! Who'd be crazy enough to carry heavy equipment up there? That should complete the glyphs, Pathfinder. So they put two scanners up here to scan this thing. Okay then. So let's get back down. I don't know how fall damage works in this game. If I just do that, apparently, kind of can mitigate all that. So let's interface with this thing. Building connection. And now I what? I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This would happen when my dad tried doing this. Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Okay. Wait! Oh, hi. Hi. Okay. That was Literally. a smile. PB. Whoa! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. Just let it ride? I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their No, tanks. I'm not gonna push her off. It's going to be alright. Trust me, okay? That is weirdly... sexual. I know. I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a Pathfinder. Was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Okay, that's a weird zoom in. Um, what about you? Are you for real? You were going to tell me who you are. I might just be the solution to all your problems. Okay then. Well, look at that. system has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Uh-oh. What the oh, hell is that? Uh, can I have that pistol? Oh shit, what the hell's going on? What the hell's going on? I know these things! From Habitat 7! Later! Just take them out! Keep targeting that one! They make a little bot! Damn, this charger isn't doing much. Well, this is an assault rifle. Oh, wow, I love this thing. Are there more up there? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have an ability with this. There we go. Okay, now we're talking. We're actually doing damage this time. Okay, that happened. Okay. That was actually cool. My first tangle with the remnant was a lot messier. The, the remnant? remnant. These monoliths, the observer and assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So the remnant, like my name's better as PB. Okay, and what is your full name? 
Thanks for helping with those things. I'm Ryder. You're a mystery. I've been studying those glyphs for months, and then you arrive and... Pff, solved. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for Eos. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. Okay, so we follow the tread. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough. Sure, just don't piss off too many observers. Observers? Yeah, oh, so those were the flying I'll things. Be... I've got to figure this out. Oh, what the hell out. is that? Just be careful. This um, planet's all kinds of strange. There's something weird in the back. Uh... Okay, then. Did that just not spawn back there and just now activate it? That was creepy. Let's just heal really quickly. And with that done, I'm actually going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. When we get back, uh, we're going to try and activate the rest of the monolith. So uh, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.